It's been about six months since the Eat Well mobile market took to the streets of Sioux Falls for the first time. Since then, the project has expanded in terms of new location stops and more products. In tonight's Eye on Keloland, Lauren Solik takes us to one of the newer locations to see how things are going for the mobile market. Every Tuesday from 5 to 6 p.m., you can find the Eat Well Sioux Falls mobile market parked outside the Great Plains Zoo along Kiwanis Avenue. This is one of the newer stops for the grocery store on wheels, and in a way, it brings the project full circle. The city grant that funded this originally was kind of a reaction to the closing of a major grocery store in this neighborhood. And so for us to be able to come back and say, neighbors, friends, here's this opportunity for you to walk to your grocery store again, that is the epitome of changing the world, kind of one grocery store at a time. It's an effort shoppers like Nancy Galagos, who lives just down the street, appreciates. I think it's a great idea. I can get around and get to other stores, but I think it's such a great idea that I just always run over and get some, <laughs> get something. But it's not just residents in this neighborhood who get to experience the mobile market. Each week, this truck now makes stops at eight different locations. Big dreams for lots more locations, but to be at eight this soon, because we just started in October. It's, you know, here we are at the beginning of March. Absolutely, it's an amazing, amazing movement as fast as we're going. Not only have their locations expanded since October, but also what is offered inside. We have had a very empty trailer when we first started to now a fully stocked, more or less grocery store on wheels. It's really amazing to see the transformation that we've made. They have quite a variety. Um, a lot of good fresh like fruits and vegetables. And then every once in a while they have these meat packages and that. They have bison, I think. And they are willing to keep adding on to the products they sell. We have kind of an unwritten rule. If someone comes in where three different people come in and they need something, and we'll start to try to carry that if it's, uh, you know, fits in our parameters. All in an effort to provide convenient grocery items wherever needed and fight food insecurity in Sioux Falls. Again, we're a wealthy community, we're a generous community, but we continue to have more than a third of the children in our, in our schools who are low income or way below that poverty line. We have to, as a community, figure out how to support those families so that we grow those children into our future workforce. And maybe someday that support will go beyond the streets of Sioux Falls. Let's think about those small towns outside of Sioux Falls. Are there other opportunities for not maybe just this model of the mobile grocery? Let's think about other ways that we can get into rural communities where true food deserts are existing, even for our farm families and our rural families. Let's think about this as a community as being even bigger than what we can do here in Sioux Falls. With Eye on Kello Land, I'm Lauren Solik. Erpenbach and Send say the best way to support the mobile market is simply by stopping by to shop. However, there are also some volunteering opportunities. To learn more about that, follow the link under this story on KelloLand.com. And there you can also find all of the location and times for the Eat Well mobile market.